Hey, Saji. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Sagittarius. Okay. Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your um super thanks, Saggy. I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys. <clears throat> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm um, Sagittarius and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Saggies. And protect me as I channel the messages for Sagittarius. I just saw baby fever, Sag. Some of y'all could be pregnant or you're trying for a baby. So congrats in advance. And okay, period. So let's see. One eleven on the clock. So confirmation. That whatever you're trying to do is getting ready to manifest. What else? Going ghosts popping in and out. <clears throat> Jail restrictions, abuse, and trapped in the in the reverse. And spoiled. The bottom of the deck is new residence and abundance. Okay, nice. So some of you guys are some of you guys are getting a home built from the ground up. Somebody here could be in uh, <clears throat> could be taking realtor classes or whatever uh, classes for real estate. Your real estate license, okay? Or you could be looking for a new home here. So congratulations. Okay, or you're just on a grind right now. You're trying to get a new home. So I see, I see that manifesting too. Some of you guys could also work from home here. You're getting ready to see progress with your money. Or it's just like the home that you have is just very abundant. It's blessed. Okay, you're wealthy. Your home is filled with a lot of positive energy and vibes. So that's nice. Yeah, some of y'all could be trying to move and everything like that. So, so somebody here that likes going ghost and popping in and out. I feel like you're freeing yourself from that kind of person. Okay, well, I just saw the Emperor now. I see the Empress. So, yeah, Emperor, Empress energy. Hmm. Some of you guys are... <clears throat> I'm getting, like, retail therapy. You guys are... Spo <clears throat> Excuse me. You're spoiling your sales. Or somebody's, like, spoiling you. Or there's somebody that, that's around you or someone else that feels entitled. Okay. Hmm. What's going ghost here? Popping in and out. Okay, yeah, the temperance in the reverse. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody could be going ghost and popping in and out of in and out of your life like the way that they are or have been recently or in the past or whatever, because there's chaos and drama going on. This could be another Sagittarius going through something. Or this is you. Yeah, there's there's uh egos clashing or Somebody's not truly healed yet could be just that could be a thing as well. There's just an imbalance here. Somebody doesn't have a good life balance. Something is just all over the place. Yeah, what's going goes popping in and out with the temperance in the reverse. There's chaos going on. A lot of disharmony. Ten of Pentacles here and the four of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn, Sun, Virgo, Mercury. <clears throat> so yeah whatever this was right here was keeping you in balance okay some of you guys this is you releasing this this stuff now you're releasing this person place or thing a mindset whatever it could be that was keeping you stuck somebody's an energy vampire they're just still energy but this four of pentacles in reverse, yeah, is letting go. It's releasing people and places and things that don't serve your highest good. I feel like some of you guys could definitely be getting ready to make a big purchase and a big move. For sure. This could be like the start of a business here, a start of an empire. Um, and this is going to be left for generations to come. Something about a home. Maybe a home was left to you. Your ancestors have passed you down a home. Hmm. 
<clears throat> somebody could feel like they lost something of value or they're losing something of value. It could be your ass. Somebody feel like they lost you, yeah. What's the 10% in reverse? Somebody too is a thief. Somebody in someone's family is a thief. Somebody's like stealing from someone. What's the temperance in reverse? The page of pentacles. What's temperance reverse page of pentacles? Oh, okay. The magician reverse and the five of swords in reverse. Virgo, Gemini here. We got Aquarius, Venus. Somebody here could be a tarot reader. You could be a reader here. You're into divination practices. The occult, esoteric knowledge with the Page of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to antagonize you. <laughs> or they're just trying to disturb you because they're going through so much chaos and drama. The Magician Reverse, Five of Swords in Reverse. <clears throat> There's a lack of mental clarity here. Somebody can, can also, they're having an issue with manifesting. Somebody doesn't have all the tools and the resources here to manifest. For some of you, somebody's trying to cause chaos to whatever you're doing, especially if you're a reader, because they don't want the fact that they're doing magic to come out. Five of Swords in reverse with the Magician reverse, it could have already came out. There's a crime here that's being uncovered. Yeah, okay. Something is being uncovered about somebody doing this weak-ass magic. So now what? Somebody feels ashamed or embarrassed or whatever this could be like public humiliation somebody feels maybe public publicly humiliated especially if you're a reader here and you're exposing it i feel like bitch oh well <laughs> what the fuck you want us to say <laughs> like would you want us to lie somebody this could be like retaliation somebody here trying to like be revenge for or nasty they could be like somebody could be doing magic on your finances or like whatever you do as a spiritualist. If you guys are spiritual, it doesn't have to be. It could be anything. Somebody's like doing magic because they don't want they don't want to be embarrassed or they don't want something to come out about them. Somebody feels like defeated. Or they feel like they have to walk away. They don't like that. So now they, they want to be what? They want to seek revenge. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, the devil in the reverse. Yeah, you're already in your Ten of Pentacles here, Sagittarius, period. <laughs> You could be on the cusp of Capricorn. <clears throat> I feel like you're already in your bag. You're already wealthy. You're already stable, secure. Some of you guys are already experiencing your Ten of Pentacles. Like they, they could be showing up in little ways in your life or whatever. Like your manifestations are coming through. Yeah, the Empress, period. Just period. So something has been uncovered about this damn magic. You see it. It's, 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 it's just here. What's the Four of Pentacles reverse? Or you try to tell somebody about this shit. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Mm, what's Four of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords reverse? Excuse me, the Strength card. <clears throat> somebody could be going to jail here. Somebody could be going to spiritual jail for this damn magic. Hmm. So yeah, the strength card is you overcoming obstacles and challenges. This is you feeling really confident about where you're at. Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like there's no more self-sabotaging behavior. You're no longer stuck or trapped. You're no longer feeling restricted or bound to anything. Like you're, you're coming out of your head. You're not overthinking with the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, and you're releasing things that no longer serve your highest good. I feel like somebody feels like they... <clears throat> somebody is losing a lot of money too somebody could be really financially insecure uh, okay mm. Mm -hmm. what's jail restrictions yeah you're you're not you're not locked up anywhere you're not trapped there's no amount of magic that's going to keep you stuck you're already you're already in your your ten of pentacles it's like you're experiencing it so whatever somebody is doing is just they might as well go sit the fuck down somewhere like legit. What's jail? Okay, seven of wands. What's jail in the reverse? In the emperor, period. <laughs> period. Aries energy, Leo Mars. So the seven of wands is you fighting for something. You standing up for what you believe in. 
this is like defensiveness or protection as well. So this emperor is here to protect you. This The emperor is like somebody that's focused. They're disciplined. They're very structured. They're stable. They're secure. What's seven of wands? <laughs> yeah, the ten of cups in reverse. What's seven of wands with the ten of cups in reverse? <laughs> okay, page of swords in reverse. Hmm. So something is blocked for these people. I feel like you're being protected. That's what I'm saying. For some of you, this emperor is a part of your Ten of Pentacles. You're already with this person. Or some of y'all getting ready to be. But they're showing up in your energy real heavy. So whatever this fake-ass family fuck shit is here, I feel like that shit falling apart. Somebody here get ready to be homeless. There's family secrets coming out. Something is a mess. It's a fucking mess. And whatever you got going on here is protected. And that's just period. <clears throat> this could be somebody in your family starting mess. Or this is just a whole bunch of dysfunction and just shit just falling apart. This could be chaos and a, a divorce. Yeah, somebody's doing something off for look. Somebody doesn't really like this, whatever the fuck they're in. It's just a fucking mess. Some of you guys, yeah, you've blocked. You've blocked this out for some of you. This could be somebody you just dated. <clears throat> And they're with somebody else. And you block their ass. Because you know that's not your person. And this is unblocking everything else for you going forward. You know what I mean? Because you had to let whatever this is go. This shit is chaotic as fuck. Page of swords in reverse. I feel like somebody in someone's family is evil eyeing you. Or this somebody in your family evil eyeing you. This could be somebody in someone's family gossiping. This is probably why you had to block this person. You had to block somebody because they're unaware of some sort of magic. Yeah, judgment reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse. A lot of um false accusations and a lot of um gossip. Somebody trying to ruin your reputation here. As a white witch, for some of you, somebody here lied and said that you was a dark witch. And you're not. What's the emperor? <clears throat> the moon reverse. Cancer Pisces, what's the emperor with the moon reverse? Yeah, and the seven of cups. Mm -hmm. So something has been revealed to you about the fact that something is an illusion. It's not real. Whatever this is over here. This is you no longer being scared or feeling fearful or doubtful. This is you, because the moon could talk about too self-deception. There was some magic going on here that was affecting you because somebody else was doing it. Yeah, confirmation. One, two, three on the clock. I feel like somebody else was being put under some sort of spell. But as long as you were entertaining the thought of having this person in your life, it was just going to keep you stuck. You know, you had to release this. This is something that needs to be released. <clears throat> Page of Swords in Reverse 2 is misinformation. Is mis somebody being misguided or misled. Definitely someone, too, is, like, really scatterbrained. Someone is having a problem with speaking up for themselves, speaking up against some sort of injustice or whatever this is. Yeah, what's the Seven of Cups? Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, Two of Cups. There's a connection that you're in. Yeah, whoever this King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe Aquarius here, this person is very scatterbrained. <clears throat> They judge a, a situation harshly in the wrong way. They can't see clear anyways. Like, the, it's the magic. It's the magic? Or this is what they're doing. If somebody's in a fake-ass family dynamic trying to do magic on you to keep you coming back to them or something like that. I feel like they're all delusional. What's the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands reverse? <clears throat> King of Cups here and the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So yeah, I feel like somebody else is confused. They're at a stalemate. Somebody also has a chip on their shoulder, but this is definitely could be unexpected trouble. Somebody don't see something coming their way. Mm. Yeah, somebody's trying to cast an illusion. They're confused. They're trying to make them, themselves seem lovey-dovey or very nice or whatever. 
I feel like this shit, somebody getting bad karma. This is a Wheel of Fortune reverse, something that's not going to somebody's favor. This Wheel of Fortune in reverse is like opposing forces. Yeah. Definitely an opposing force. What's the moon reverse? This King of Cups right here could be your guide. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, you're free. You're free from any restrictions. Anything that was holding you back, you're free from it. This is you going to see your new beginning, unscathed, unbothered, and not scared. With the moon in the reverse, you feel very confident. Or something has been revealed about you moving forward and you going towards your new beginning. And it's protected. It's like highly protected. <clears throat> somebody else is confused because they're at a stalemate. And they're getting really bad karma. I feel like somebody getting bad karma too for doing this damn love magic on you. Trying to do love spells to make you come back or whatever. I feel like, yeah, you, <laughs> you're done for, buddy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, male spying and trust issues, red flags. Always on my mind, old pics, memories, old text messages, the things you would say. <laughs> then we have so in love and liar. Somebody's a liar about being in love, about loving you. It's you, always has been you, standing out, one of a kind, no comparisons, and someone's pregnant or wants a baby. <laughs> I feel like for some of you guys, this is you. There's somebody that you've seen that's always standing out. They always, they've always been the one. For some of you, this could be somebody from your past. And it, it, it's a good person from your past, not an idiot like I'm talking about right now. <clears throat> okay, there's somebody from your past where you're like, oh, it's always been you. You've always been the one. You always, you're the one that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, period. And you want a baby. <laughs> like, I don't know. But, yeah. I feel like somebody is just, they did the most. And they ass getting left the fuck behind. What's the spoil here? I'm not staying long on these readings today because I don't feel like reading on these hoes. And I want to, yeah, look, Nine of Pentacles with the spoil card. This is you pampering yourself. You're very wealthy. I feel like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You deserve it. You deserve to enjoy whatever the fuck you've been working hard for. What's we'll spoil with the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Some of you guys are traveling. You're having a good time. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're celebrating. You're happy. But this could be you traveling and going on a new adventure. I feel like you're happy as hell. You're feeling brave and confident, courageous. But this Knight of Wands could be somebody that wants to come in and be a player. Who does Knight of Wands? That's Sagittarius energy too. Okay, Two of Cups. For some of you guys, what's the Knight of Wands, Two of Cups? Okay, so yeah. What's the Knight of Wands, Two of Cups? Yeah, Five of Cups in reverse. You've healed and now you're in love with somebody or you're going to be. And it's not this Knight of Wands. It's for sure this Emperor. Uh, this Knight of Wands is whoever this is. I feel like they're going to keep coming in and out of your life. And they feel like, I guess they're trying to bring their ass back. No. The answer is no. So you might as well just stop. Yeah, while you're ahead, you might as well go ahead. Stay where the fuck you at, buddy. Some of you guys could be traveling with your person, though. Your person could be younger, but they're very mature. Very mature spiritually. I feel like um this person, if you if you are with somebody, they could be very playful, very adventurous, very spontaneous. You can have a lot of fun with somebody and they're spoiling you for some of you. That that's the case. That could be the case. Somebody's very free spirited, very young, young spirited, like in a good sense. They know how to have fun. They know how to keep you laughing, things like that. You know, so what's the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, the star. What's Nine of Pentacles with the star? <clears throat> the chariot here and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, nothing for you to be fretting about or worrying about here. This is you seeing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is no anxiety. It's, you're clear. You're clear to go. The chariot is a, a vic, a, having a victory, being triumphant. Love winning over hate here. Yeah. You're pushing through challenges, obstacles. Your faith is very, very strong with the star. You're going into your destiny very confident, not letting nobody get in the way of this love or this connection. That's just period. So... This could be somebody else's ass in deep, deep regret. They're scared or they're being haunted by their past and their actions. I feel like, well, oh well. A 
No fucking well, buddy. Peace sign, strength and stamina, new beginnings, go, to, go, time to settle down, teamwork, renewal, spiritual enrichment, problem solver, and wise. Then we have Saturn. Mm, unlearned karmic lessons, struggles, restrictions, rushing without evaluation, wasting time, repressed rage, and obstacles. We have Taurus. Hustle hard, finishes tasks, diplomatic, beauty, honest and direct, keep secrets, patient, talented, strong and unwavering. Common sense, kind, and sexy, period. Then we have apron here. Change your attitude to avoid problems. Limited, allowing your, allowing others to tell you what to do. Dirty jobs, feeling submissive, unequipped, and disappointments. And then we have glue. Reliable partnerships in business, dependable. Profits from business, flexible and multi-talented. Successful plans, unity, strength, and creative ideas. Yeah, so this is good energy. You learn. I feel like with the Saturn, this is they ass. They ain't learned shit, but you did. The Saturn is on the other side. Long term goals, focus, determination. Time is on your side. Learning life's lessons. Yeah, discipline, responsibilities, wisdom, and father. Yeah, so you learned the lessons that you needed to learn here. So you deserve to be happy, and you're going to be without the drama, without the mess. Somebody here likes to keep mess going, or they stay a mess. Or they in a fake ass family dynamic that they don't want to be in, but they want to keep using like no. Somebody is selfish. <clears throat> this emperor energy could be you where you're staying focused and you're staying disciplined here. Or this is like you're you're realizing what a real emperor is, because they're not somebody that's in and out back and forth or whatever. And that ain't what no emperor, no real emperor gonna do to you. So we got circle here, feeling trapped, unable to change, deception, disharmony between unconscious and conscious mind, refusal to work on shadow, shadow self and negative karma. Yeah, we got ruler, not measuring up to standards, inadequate, comparing yourself to others, not belonging, be careful in making decisions and shortcomings. And then we have mask, people's at arm's length, fear mongering, isolated, anxious, antisocial, pretending, having regret, feeling happy in difficult times. <clears throat> yeah, somebody here going through it. Mm, what else? So we got needle here. Resources and potential to be successful. Fixer, repairing relationships, solutions, forward. Connecting with others and overcome problems. And then we have Mars energy, fearless, passion, drive, determination, courage, masculine energy, assertiveness, confidence, ambition, competitive, and honor. And then we have Scorpio, courageous, honest, ambitious, passionate, intense, inner power, highly intuitive, loyal, deeply sensitive, independent, sensual, and curious. Yeah, we've got the Scorpio. This King of Cups here could be a Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, I feel like that's somebody that's coming into your life. <clears throat> that's just going to make life way, way better, you know? Like, they're going to add a lot of fun and good energy to your life here. Or somebody is. But you're very driven to get things done, to do what you need to do, to live your life as you should. People need to stay away from with they Like, stay away with your drama. Why do you think somebody wants to deal with your drama? That's really inconsiderate very weird so this is your reading Sagittarius I hope this reading gave you lots of clarity like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my reads and I'll talk to y'all later bye